Hello, John Abdo here, wanting to talk about my last name. No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> my last name is in Abdominals, so a lot of people think that Abdo is a stage name. It's actually not, but since I was born John Abdo, I've been obligated to keep in a six pack year round. So hopefully uh, uh, I'll be able to uh, fulfill that uh, obligation in the years and years to come. I've been able to do it so far and I'm definitely eager to show you. And if you're already there, congratulations. If you're not there, understand that abdominals and the entire midsection are muscular components that we all possess. But some, some of you possess a lot of fat that's covering that, and our goal here is to reveal the muscles by burning the fat and shaping the muscles. The abdominals, uh, almost to me at times, is, is a word that I really try to steer away from. And the reason is, is because it's overused. A lot of people think midsection training is just the abdominals, and the abdominals is just the frontal region of the midsection, and at best it's probably 25 to 30 percent of the middle region of the body. So when you put on your pants, when you pull up your dress, when you put the belt around your waistline, certainly when you put the tape measure around your waistline, it's touching everything. It's touching your lower back, it's touching the sides, the back part of your obliques, the side part of your obliques, the front part of your obliques, and your abdominal region right up and across through the navel. So for me, it's always made sense to train the entire midsection because early in my career, I would just do sit-ups like everyone else is doing and I had a flat, hard stomach, but I had these love handles on the side. So if you looked at me sideways, I looked good sideways. I was flat here, but as soon as I turned this way, I, I looked like a, like a Liberty Bell. It was, uh, it was definitely out of proportion. So understand that the abdominals are very important muscles to train, but most of you, have overtrained them because of all the years that you've done with abdominal, conventional abdominal exercise. But those of you who have known me from the Abdur, from all my other programs, Getting Wasted, especially right here, um, those programs isolate the entire middle region of the body with the focus in the lower back and it surrounds to the front. It actually comes around to the front. And the reason why I focus on the lower back, and let me get the spinal column here, the reason why I focus on the lower back first and all these muscles back here is because when fat accumulates there, for a lot of you, it's impossible for you to burn it off unless you follow these principles. And when fat gets back here, it pushes down in the pelvis. And when it pushes down in the pelvis, it crinks your uh, your lumbar vertebrae, crinks, crinks is a word by the way, and it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean anything good, and it puts pressure to your ball and socket hip joint. So you don't want to crink this area of your body. So whenever you have extra weight in your lower back and your obliques, it's really problematic for the pelvis and how it shifts on your lower back right there. So in addition to that, your central nervous system, your spinal cord, comes right through your vertebrae here. So this is the biggest part of the nervous system in your body. It's the most vast, it's the most energetic. So it's so important to train it from this way around, as it comes around this way. Because see these right here? These are your spinal nerves. They come out of your spinal column and feed your obliques, feed your abdominals, feed your intestines, feed your stomach, feed your pancreas and liver and heart and lungs. It's just unbelievable when you train the middle region of your body from the back around to the front. And also I have my bottom up technology which lifts the legs up, the femur bone, which allows you to work the lower abs and it radiates to the middle and upper abs and because of the pelvis twisting techniques that we use in getting wasted and all of our other routines, you're definitely hitting so many muscles in and surrounding the middle region of the body. So understand that the middle region of your body includes your abdominals, but it's not exclusive to your abdominals. It's your abs, your obliques, your lower back, your hips, your quadriceps, your glutes, and a whole lot more. Focus on total waistline development with getting wasted in my other routines, and I guarantee you're going to lose all the fat and develop the definition and muscularity that you've always striven for. I'm John Abdo. We'll talk again soon.